Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sean the Deep Sea Man, and today I'm going to show you one little hack that could save you a lot of trouble and save a lot of time in the troubleshooting. So let's see. This is uh, it'll help you figure out the hydrocarbon sensor. Why does it give you readings when everything seems normal? And also, sometimes it can trigger random gas trips on the cylinder block. So let's go and let's see this uh, quick hack. So remember, when running in your gas mode, the blow and purge valves need to be closed. Here's the blow and here's the purge valve. Both these valves need to be closed. And in order to ensure that they are closed and uh, there is a red LED on the connector of the valve at the cylinder head. And remember, this LED has to be bright red. It has to be bright lit and bright red. You see the difference? I'll take you down. And if it is lightly lit, there are a few issues that could be the problem. Let's resolve them because if it's not uh, shut during operation, if it's not closed, you will have gas leakages from there, alarms and a gas strip that will happen. And also you'll have a hydrocarbon sensor right at uh, in the silencer pipe. So the silencer pipe will give you hydrocarbon and you may even have trips if the leak is too much. You will not actually figure out what's the problem. So let's go and let's do this. So that's actually how noisy the engine room is. All right, so this is the red LED that I'm talking about. This is on your purge valve that's at the bottom of the gas block and your blow valve, your blow off valve that's at the top of the gas block. So both of these valves must have their connectors. The red LEDs that you see should be bright and red. Just check out this issue that I'm facing. You can see that LED is red, but not bright enough. And as you see that when I touch it, it gets brighter. So it's meant to be bright and red. So this clearly means that connector is pretty loose. Either the connector or the terminals in the junction box. For now, let's tighten the connector first. The connector for this blow off valve was slightly loose. So I'll just tighten it off with a screwdriver. And that should give me that bright LED that I'm looking for. An easy little hack, a simple little hack in the engine room is you can put your camera to selfie mode of your phone and you can have a look at spaces that you can't reach that you may not you may not be able to bend or you know stick your eyes or stick your head into it so i just want to look at the bottom of the connector so using my phone in the front camera mode and i'm just monitoring what i want to see unfortunately that uh, connector is slightly cracked and broken so you know tightening it won't make any use so we'll just go back to the magic of cable ties because the engine is running on gas and i don't want to trip the engine so we'll just uh, you know, we'll put two cable ties, tighten it up, and the next time we stop gas, we will change the connector, the end connector of the uh, of this blow valve. So I'm done just cutting off the tails of these cable ties. As you see, both the LEDs are bright and red. And there are chances that, you know, after you do this, the LED still doesn't light up bright or it's just not lit even though the signal is on. Is the gas block JB's the gas block junction box is what you got to see open it up there there will be connectors inside uh, which you will need to you know tighten them and check their tightness as you can see the original terminal strips that are there and we've used these external terminal strips sometimes the original terminal strips the spring tension is lost and they cannot deliver the connection at all times so this will end up triggering alarms triggering you know wrong signals you lose the integrity of the connection of, of your gas block and all your connectors that are there. So this will trigger you, you know, unwanted alarms and it will be very difficult to, to, to track down the problem. Well, that's it for now. I hope you guys seen that, you know, some simple, very simple terminal connectors, terminal strips that can be bad, that can get bad over the years. You know, the spring tension is lost. So we just put external terminal strips and then you can order the, the original new ones. So this is how. We, you will actually resolve a lot of problems. And another thing, remember the LED bright red. If not, you tighten it first. Don't over tighten it. Otherwise, you might end up just breaking uh, the plastic connector. Let's face it, it gets brittle over the years. That's it for now. Take care. Bye bye and stay safe.